Hello and welcome back to Break Tech. My name is Doug and in this video we're going to continue our skeleton project. The landing page we're going to be recreating is here on the right hand side. It's a pretty simple layout but it has a lot of the elements that we want to practice using using skeleton. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add custom, site, uh, custom CSS so that we have a way to change the layout of our page, change the look of our page uh, without having to directly change skeletons CSS or the normalized CSS. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we'll add a link to a style sheet and we're going to have that be in the same folder and we're going to call it custom.css. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create that file. So right clicking in the folder, create a new file, call it custom.css. Uh, we're not going to add anything in there now, but we can go ahead and save off this file and we can pull back up our practice image. So what we see here is a full width design uh, and the top container has looks like a background image. Uh, we have a h1 and h2 and then a little paragraph text followed by a button. So let's go ahead and add that. So we can see here, uh, I've already started, I just copied and pasted this information in. Um, we have a container with one row. It's one half of the full 12 columns, so it's six columns. It has the, the title in an H1, then we have H2, we have uh, just this byline, and then we have a little paragraph text, and then we need to add a button. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we'll use the button primary, the blue style button. And we'll say, what did it say? It said, request quote. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we currently have. I'm using Live Reload in Atom, so I can control shift and three to open up uh, port 3000. And we'll see what we have. So that's pretty good. It's actually pretty close to what we're looking for. Um, you can see that we need to add some styling. Uh, so we can go to our custom styles. Uh, let's, let's give this container a name so that we don't have to style all of our containers. Um, so for this first container, uh, we'll go ahead and name this the hero as it's the hero image in the top. And then we can go into our custom CSS and we can start with that hero. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to add a background. We want to have that background fill up the entire container. Uh, so let's go ahead and find an image. I've already located one. I'm going to link the source of the image in the description below. Um, I, Whenever necessary that I'm looking for sample images, I try to use something that's open source and free. Um, so we're not going to be stealing images from this this template. We're going to be, you know, getting other images. I like to use Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S, and I will go ahead and link that as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab an image. All right, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and added all the images that we're going to use. And again, I'm going to link these in the description. So if you don't have these images, don't worry, you can go get them from Pexels. And all the images came from Pexels. And what you could even do is just pick your own images. I mean, all I did was pick things that I thought looked good. So for the top hero image, I was looking for something that was kind of blurry. Um, I found this picture, uh, text would go very easily over this, especially that bold yellow text or even white text up in this gray uh, is going to just have a lot of contrast and really stick out. So I thought this image looked good. Um, if you want this one, again, I will link it in the description. So what we want to do is um, we want to do a couple of things. We want to go ahead and into our custom CSS and we want to add that hero background image. But um, what I've done is I've, I've changed the layout just a little bit here. We had an outer container class and what I want to do is since I want a full width image and I want to go ahead and put my hero class on the outside and I want the container class inside of there. So I'll go ahead and add that container class. I'm going to move this div. I'm going to close this div down at the bottom with only the hero outside of it. So we'll go ahead and should end up right here. And we'll tab those in appropriately. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, geez. I don't know how I 
line up all these little tildes or whatever. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and tab that in, and that looks good. All right, so what's that, that's done is that's that's changed. So the container class has the padding in it to um, give us a little bit of separation from the edge of the screen, and then we want to use our hero container, our hero div, to um, put our background image on. So that's full width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my custom CSS, and in my hero image, I'm going to go ahead and create a background. You uh, background image. I'll give that a URL of images slash blurred dot jpeg and then we don't want that to repeat we want one image across the whole background so we'll go ahead and go background repeat no repeat and then we want to go background size and we want to go cover and what that does is that scales the image as the window size changes so that you always have a full width image um, and if if the aspect ratio is off so the image wouldn't fit perfectly you never get an overflow or you never get like a blank uh, section across the screen where the image doesn't fit you just get um, you just get the image resized within that within that um, div so let's go ahead and look at what we've got now so you can see we need to change the styling of the text, but other, otherwise this is looking pretty good. It's very close to what we were looking for. So um, inside of that hero image we have an H1. And that H1 we want to change the color of it and we want to um, make it bold. So let's go, let's go font weight bold first. And then let's change the color. And I think on our source we had sort of a yellow color. Um, so let's go grab that. So I'm just going to grab that with my color picker. It looks like I've already grabbed it. Yeah, perfect. So we'll copy that and paste it in. I didn't grab my hash, so we'll add the hash there. And then as far as the rest of our text, we want to go ahead and do color white. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so that looks really close to what we want. I think the only other thing I see that I want to change just a little bit is maybe add some padding to the top and bottom. Of maybe like, I don't know, 50 pixels. And you could do this just using the, you know, the, the clockwise notation and just using a single padding, but I think this is more read readable. The single padding tag, I mean. Uh, and we'll do 50 pixels on the bottom just to make it look very balanced. Let's see what that looks like. Um, misspelled padding with a B. There we go. All right, great. So I think we have the hero image section of our page done. So I will go ahead and cut this video here. And in the next video, we will continue doing the next section of the page. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe.